Are you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from Napa, where the Wine Symposium Group held their annual Wine Industry Financial Symposium. Here today, winemakers gathered to hear from several industry professionals, including Robert Smiley, who offered the symposium's 24th annual executive survey. And here's Robert to share some of the key points he addressed. So the wine industry continues to be optimistic about the future. They're especially optimistic about consumers moving their consumption to upper tiers at higher price points. They're not confident that it will continue forever, but they can see that uh, it does appear now to be the focus of consumers to move up, up in price. They are um, affected by groups coming in to purchase properties, um, wine group, excuse me, um, institutional properties uh, like uh, endowment funds. And, foreign investors and family groups. Uh, doesn't have a huge impact, but depending on where you are, you, you see quite a bit. In fact, the consumption impact of land is moving up to Washington. And more and more wineries like Duckhorn and Cape Brit are establishing properties up there and making wine up there. The uh, industry continues to be concerned about water. Uh, where is water going to be coming from? And whether you're in California or Washington State, it, it's a big problem. Um, they're all doing what they can to conserve water, including the University of California Davis's research, uh, but it's not clear what the long-term future is. The, the value of the dollar uh, makes imports cheaper and has um, competitive impacts on, on the industry that's producing domestic product. product. Uh, they're concerned about that, and um, it's, it's something that will continue if, in fact, the value of the dollar continues to be high and or increasing. But it's a very optimistic industry. The people in it have always been optimists, in my experience, and uh, they like where things are going. They uh, see a lot of possibilities for agreements and joint offerings with beer, uh, ciders, spirits. I'm not sure what that's going to be, uh, but they're investigating and they're thinking about it. And um, the research they take out, take, take underway is, is producing better wine um, as a result of the UC Davis and other colleges' uh, impact. Thank you, Robert. Stay current on grape and wine industry trends by reading American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.